Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I did some DIY pumpkins. I will be doing some glam pumpkins as well as two topiaries. I am going to start by doing this topiary. I am using these high knees I got from Walmart. You can use any type of pantyhose. Dollar Tree carries pantyhose. I just had purchased these already but I will be using the pantyhose I bought from Dollar Tree later on on the video. For the stuffing, I will be using this pillow I got from Walmart. Depending how big you want your pumpkin to be is how much of the stuffing you're gonna use. After putting the stuffing, it kinda looks weird and bumpy, so you just have to play around with it until it gets the shape of a pumpkin. So what I'm going to do after that is just tie it. I thought I was going to use the rubber bands you see, but you don't need them. To make the shape of the pumpkin, I am going to wrap the juice string around the ball four times to make eight sections. Make sure you tie them tight. And this is my first pumpkin. For my second pumpkin, I am going to use the rest of the high knee. I am going to tie it at the bottom since I cut the bottom part off. I am going to repeat the same steps I did for the first pumpkin, but this time I am going to add more stuffing because I want this pumpkin to be bigger. For the middle pumpkin, I decided to use a different color since my daughter had these old tights. I am going to use these. I will be repeating the same steps. For the base, I am going to use this bowl I had already. Dollar Tree carries lots of different things you can use for the base. Also, I am going to decorate it using some wheat from Dollar Tree. This stem I'm using is from a pumpkin that I used in another topiary. I will be adding some fall leaves and some berries to this to make it look prettier and nicer. So the base doesn't look too plain. I am going to wrap juice string around it a couple of times. To top it off, I will add a juice string bow. I just love how the juice string makes it look a lot better. Remember, you can decorate this however you like. I just used leftover things I had from previous DIYs. And that is it for my first pumpkin topiary. For my second topiary, I wanted it to be a different color and use the leftover tights I had. So what I did so I didn't have to go out and buy fabric dye, I just used my Apple Barrel acrylic paint and mixed it with some water. I left them in there for 10 minutes, but I recommend you leaving it longer so the paint can really soak in. And I wouldn't wash or rinse them because the paint will come off. When it's done soaking, just squeeze all the water out and let it air dry. Now that they are dry, I'm going to repeat the steps and make one big and one small pumpkin. I made my own stem because I didn't have any left. To make the stem, I used the part of the tie that I did not cut off and I just wrapped two string around it. I didn't wrap the whole thing, so whatever I didn't wrap, I'm going to cut it off. The way I glue the pumpkins is I just flipped it upside down so the stem can be inside the stem the base and it leaves a flat surface to add the other pumpkin on top but before that i glued some oak leaves and that is it all i did was add some berries to it and i wrapped some of the juice string around the base and i added a juice string bow mm -hmm. 
And now I will be showing you how I did these clam pumpkins. I am not going to show you the whole process of how I stuffed them. The only difference is that I'm using some thick juice string, brown ribbon, gold ribbon to wrap the pumpkins around. Plus, I am using some brown pantyhose I got from Dollar Tree. To glam up my pumpkins, I will be using these pretty stickers I got from Dollar Tree. To glam up my first pumpkin, I will be using these jewel stickers. With one strip, I glued it around the pumpkin in between the juice string. And then I added another row across that one. I then took off eight of these pearls off and then I added them to the sides that didn't have anything. I added two on each side and I used my glue gun to glue them. And then I added a two string bow to it. This is how my first pumpkin turned out. For my second glam pumpkin, I will be using these fall stickers I got from Dollar Tree and I will be using them on the pumpkin I used the gold ribbon. I will be cutting off a strip of leaves. I also cut off a strip of diamonds on each side. I did the same thing I did with the other pumpkin. I just glued the diamonds around the pumpkin. I did this twice. I cut four leaves off from the sheet. These come with adhesive, but I had to use my glue gun because they wouldn't stick. I added one leaf in between the rows of diamonds. I will be adding more diamonds to the top. All I did was cut three diamonds in a row and glue them to the parts that didn't have diamonds. And this completes my second pumpkin. As always, you can decorate your pumpkin however you like. I used a row of diamonds to go over the stem and I added a gold ribbon. For my last pumpkin, I will be using these pearls I got from Michaels. I paid less than a dollar with a coupon, but Dollar Tree carries similar things. I will be putting eight big pearls on top, one on each section. These come with adhesive, but for some reason mine weren't sticking to the pumpkin, so I just used my glue gun. After that, I will be adding the next size down. I will be adding them to every other one. In the same row, I will be adding the smaller ones underneath the medium. Every other row is going to look like this. It's going to have a big pearl, a medium pearl, a small pearl, and then another small pearl. I will be adding more pearls to this, so I added another pearl underneath the big pearl. The last thing I did was add pearls around the stem. I also used the ribbon to make a stem. To complete my pumpkin, all I did was add a bow, and this is how it turned out. And that is it guys, I hope you like how I made my pumpkins using a pillow and some pantyhose. I just wanted to show you how much material I have left. As you can see, you can do a lot of pumpkins. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.